The K. Chapter 5 I guess it was toward noon on the third day aboard the raft that Timothy said tensely, Iromota. Amota? Shh. I listened. Yes, there was a far-off engine sound coming in faintly above the slap of the sea. Then I could hear Timothy moving around. "'Tis an aircraft,' he said. My heart began to pound. They were looking for us. I felt around, then crawled from beneath the shelter to look toward the sound. But I could see nothing. I heard the hinges on the trapdoor creak. Timothy said quietly, as though afraid to chase the sound away, "'It known what we be doing here by seeing smoke, I do believe.' He ripped down one of the triangle legs, and I heard cloth tearing. Soon, he said, we made the torch, young boss. The man up there be seeing the smoke, all right, all right. The faint drone of the aircraft seemed closer now. In a moment, I smelled cloth burning and knew he was holding the wrapped piece of wood toward the sky. He shouted, Look down here! But already the drone seemed to be fading. Timothy yelled, I see it! I see it! Way to port! I tried to make my eyes cut through the darkness. Is he coming our way? Don't know, don't know, young boss, Timothy replied anxiously. I said, I can't hear it now. There was nothing in the air but the sea sounds. Timothy shouted, Look down here! There is a rap with a little blind boy and an old man and stew cat. Look down here, I tell you. The drone could not be heard, just the slap of the water and the sound of the light wind making our shelter flap. We were alone again on the ocean. After a moment of silence, I heard the sizzle of the water as Timothy doused the torch. He sighed deeply. I be ready for next time, for true. Let the torch dry. Then I be ready. Soon he sat down beside me. "'Tis a good thing not to harass us all over this. "'We are edging into the aircraft track, same as the ship they run.' "'I said nothing, but put my head down on my knees. "'Do not be disheartened, young boss. "'Today will be found to be true.' "'But the long, hot day was passing without sight of anything. "'I knew Timothy was constantly scanning the sea. "'It was all so calm now that the raft didn't even seem to be drifting.' Once I crawled over to the edge to touch the warm water and felt Timothy right behind me. He said, Careful, young boss. The shark's always hungry, always waiting for the man to fall overboard. Drawing back from the edge, I asked, Are there many here? Yes, many here, but not long as we have our raft, they do not miss us. Standing on the seawall at Willemstad, sometimes I'd seen their fins in the water. I'd also seen them on the dock at the Reitercade Market, their mouths open and those sharp teeth grinning. I went back under the shelter, spending a long time rubbing Stewcat. He purred and pushed himself along my body. I was glad that I had seen him and had seen Timothy before going blind. I thought how awful it would be to awaken on the raft and not know what they looked like. Timothy must have been standing over us, for he said, The cot not good luck. After a moment, he added, But to cause the death of the cot is very bad luck. I don't think Stu Cat is bad luck, I said. I'm glad he is here with us. Timothy did not answer, but turned back, I guess, to watch the sea again. I could imagine those bloodshot eyes set in that massive, scarred black face sweeping over the sea. Tell me what's out there, Timothy, I said. It was very important to know that now. I wanted to know everything that was out there. He laughed. Just miles of blue water. Miles of blue water. Nothing else? He realized what I meant. Oh, to be sure, young boss. I see a fish jump way forward. That mean large fish chase him. Then a while back... A turtle passes port side, but too far out to reach him back. His eyes were becoming mine. What's in the sky, Timothy? In the sky? He searched it. No clouds, young boss. 
just blue like twas yesterday. But now and then I see a petrol. While ago, a booby. I laughed for the first time all day. It was a funny name for a bird. A booby? Timothy was quite serious. This booby I saw was a blue face. Maybe nesting out of Serenia, bunk. Maybe not. They be feeding on the flying fish. I true watching the birds, cause they tell us we're very close to the shore. How does a booby look, Timothy? Nothing much, he replied. Tail like our chocolate, sharp beak, moles white on his body. I tried to picture it, wondering if I'd ever see a bird again. <laughs>